the viewing party here at Cranbrook Institute of Science is about to begin. Coming up, what you'll need to bring if you choose to come. Yes, indeed. We are all about the eclipse today. Everything you need to know to view it safely from protecting your eyes, protecting your pets, staying safe behind the wheel. We have got you covered. Advice from the experts. That's coming up. Working for you. Fox 2 News Live at 11 starts now. Speaking of protecting your eyes, you're going to need this. Oh, look at you. Yeah, you got to come Wait prepared, a minute. right? Wait you a minute, yours? where you am I? Yeah, I got them. I'm not I got them, them right in the here. studio, but I'm I'll coming. wait. I'm coming. Okay. There we go. All right, so we got our are glasses. Are we putting them on? No, not yet. Oh. We are We okay. are ready, though. Got it. We are ready, <laughs> Metro Detroit. Yeah, here we go. Good uh, morning, everybody. It's Eclipse Day, and we're excited about it. I'm Dina Santafonte. And I'm Brandon Hudson. Look, we're just hours away from this big celestial event that will have millions of us gazing at the sky. Now, just about all of us will be able to see part of this firsthand. It depends on where you are, though, of course, and what the weather looks like today. With telescopes already pointed skyward, mm. both amateur and professional astronomers in Mexico will be first on the continent to see the big show. From there, the path of the total eclipse will travel northeast, where about 32 million people live and millions of others have made the trek, or where 32 million people live, I should say, will be watching it live because they live there, and then millions of others will be joining them on this path of totality. If the weather cooperates, what they're going to see in those final five minutes before totality is the street lights come up, Venus starting to make an appearance, then Jupiter. Then we'll see the diamond ring effect where that last speck of moon or sunlight is coming through the moon's valleys. And then we're thrust into twilight. Wow. That was a really good description. Yeah. <laughs> Cloud cover is the variable today that we have to worry about. So we're going to check in with Rich Luderman in just a few minutes. Yes, Rich Luderman is even here this today. Is a big deal. You know it's a big deal when Rich Luderman is That's in the right. building. Yes. So we have events that are underway for people who want to try to get a glimpse of this solar show. Cranbrook Institute of Science is hosting a viewing party. Yeah, Fox News' Lauren Edwards is there. Lauren, they've got a lot planned, and the, the thing about this event that gets me kind of giddy is that it's just something that brings us all together, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, as much as this is about viewing that solar eclipse, it really is in so many ways about community. I'm here at the Cranbrook Institute of Science, and they're telling me they can't wait to have people out. But you know what? It's 1102 I see on my phone, which means the viewing party has begun. And we've already seen a number of people park their cars, go inside, and just get ready. Actually, an hour ago, we saw someone sitting outside with a chair, but they are expecting a full house here all day today. And organizers tell us that the event has been sold out for weeks. Michigan, as we all know, is not in the line of totality. But they say, you know, you can still get your glasses and look up at it because around 314, the state will have 98% coverage, which is pretty awesome. Uh, experts say, so please bring your eclipse glasses. You have to have them. You cannot just look up at the sky. You will hurt your eyes. Uh, the eclipse glasses are 1,000 times darker than regular sunglasses. But you know what? If you come and you don't have them, they will help you out here. Come expecting to have fun. Uh, if you have eclipse glasses, bring them. Uh, if not, we'll have some for, on for sale. Uh, but you don't need them. If you want to look at the eclipse safely through one of our filter telescopes, you can do that as well. So we have uh, a relatively new observatory with several telescopes in it, and we're going to make two of them available for solar viewing. And you can't just pick up a pair of binoculars or a telescope and aim it at the sun uh, because you would quickly damage your eyes. So these are properly filtered telescopes. And it's those telescopes that you're going to want to be looking through. But again, the party has just begun here. We've been seeing people park their cars, go inside. So he says, again, come ready to have fun. Bring your glasses. And if you don't have the Eclipse glasses, they will help you out here. And uh, they'll have some selling waiting for you. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun day. And I hope you both can get out of the studio and come down and see for yourself. Reporting live here in Bloomfield Hills, Lauren Edwards, Fox 2 News. Uh, Lauren, when at Cranbrook there, I don't know if you had a chance to do this, but the, with the telescope set up and, and how they have this very scientific view of it, is that is that something that you do? Uh, what kind of image does that give you? I guess is what I'm asking you of the eclipse. 
You know what's so funny? He did give me a very sciencey thing, and I completely forgot, but he says it is over by the observatory, and what it does is it filters it out so it makes it really small so you can actually see what is going on. It's much better than you can get with the glasses. Yeah. And uh, also to see these planets that you're going to be able to, to view. Um, it's really interesting. Lauren, thank you. Have fun at your uh, eclipse party there once things get going. And remember, Fox 2 is bringing you live coverage of this eclipse. It's all day today. So coming up in our next half hour, we are going to catch up with these two. The weather boys, they've been wearing their glasses all day, Brandon. I know. Uh, unnecessarily. But they've been outside, too. They've been outside. So uh, yeah. They get a pass. They have their eclipse glasses on. They have special shirts made. They have reached the path of totality. So uh, join, uh, join them all day today, fox2detroit.com, and, and on Fox Local. You can download that on your streaming service. The bottom line, this is their Super Bowl. <laughs> it sure is. Or Olympics, because it's so rare. Yeah, these two uh, guys, they're geeked up, man. They're heading south, and they're going to bring us some great coverage. We're going to have science and fun today uh, with the eclipse. So let's reiterate what's happening today. It's the moon passing in front of the sun, and it's going to cast that shadow, and that shadow is going to be visible across most of the lower 48, but the... Uh, the, the flow of totality is going to be just off to our south. So let's go over the timeline here in southeast Michigan. It's going to start close to 2 o'clock. Now you'll start to see it with the glasses close to 2 o'clock, but then by 314, 315, most of the sun will be covered up and then by 430 or so it's going to be over. So the great news is, is that Mother Nature is cooperating. It is a beautiful morning out there. Temperatures are going to be quickly rising up into the 60s. We may may see 70 degrees in some spots by late this afternoon. We did have the clouds and the showers this morning. You can see those have exited off to the east. So now we're left with partly cloudy skies. And real quickly, we're going to give you that day planner for today. Just a few fair weather clouds, Brandon. No complaints. Mother Nature really coming through. We're going to have lots more to talk about in the next 40 minutes. Back to you, brother. Right, we'll to some of our news headlines here. We are nearing the end of an historic case. That for the first time, we'll hold parents responsible for a mass shooting committed by their child here in America. James and Jennifer Crumbly will head back to court tomorrow for their sentencing. Separate juries convicted both of them of involuntary manslaughter in the deaths of four students killed at Oxford High School back in 2021. Their teenage son was also found guilty and sentenced to life behind bars. James and Jennifer Crumbly face up to 15 years in prison. They'll be sentenced separately. We're going to have live coverage from the courthouse tomorrow. Stay with Fox 2 on air and online for the very latest. The Detroit Public Schools Community District facing a massive lawsuit filed by a former officer who claims she was fired for blowing the whistle on sexual harassment. Fox 2's Camila Miri has more on this legal fallout. It was, it was humiliating. It was uh, demeaning. Kelly Mays describing the sexual harassment she says she experienced while working as a police officer for the Detroit Public Schools Public Safety Department in June of 2021. First incident, he said, um, he asked me, was I putting it on him? He saw flowers at my desk and I told him uh, flowers were for me. And he said, um, hey, Kelly was putting, on, putting it on these guys. Um, that was the first incident. The second incident, he, um, he asked me, was I putting it on this other guy? Um, he asked that right in front of the chief. The third incident, he asked me, what did I have down there, gold? May says those comments came from the man who was deputy police chief at the time. The veteran police officer is now suing the school district for a million dollars, alleging sexual harassment and wrongful discharge. She says she complained to the police chief about the alleged harassment after it occurred and was told it would be taken care of. Then... I reached out to the OIG, that's the um, Office of Inspector General. Um, they conduct investigations. I let them know what was going on. Nothing was done. Um, I contacted employee relations, labor relations, my union, nothing was done. Kelly then suffered a series of cascading negative consequences, demotion, she was assigned from the day shift to the afternoon shift, um, she was denied um, the opportunity to become a lieutenant, um, deputy chief. And then ultimately she was terminated from her job last month. What's notable about the termination is that um, the very people that Kelly had complained to about the sexual harassment and who did nothing about it were the ones who fired her based on false charges. And in addition to wanting her old job back. Um, I like 
them to address um, accountability. People need to be held accountable for their actions and let them know that this is not it's not tolerated and it won't it won't be tolerated. You'll face you'll face some kind of consequences for those actions. Now we reached out to the school district for comment, but so far we have not heard from anyone. Camille Amiri, Fox 2 News. A bit more uplifting here. A young boy in Warren is being called a hero after saving his family of eight from a fire. I want you to look at the charred clothes and furniture that was scattered outside this home. Flames destroyed the apartment complex on Ford Avenue early Friday morning. We were just told that the boy who was only five years old woke up his mom just in time to get her and all seven of her children out of the burning apartment. They also helped get a neighbor who shares the wall with them out safely as well. No one was hurt, but the family lost all their possessions and now have to start over. I was just trying to get out the house. I was trying to find half my stuff. I couldn't find it because it was in the room, so I just had to run out with what I had. It's amazing how he got everybody out the house. Everything was engulfed in flames. And this whole house, I don't even see how they got out. It was a miracle. Great job by that young man there. Uh, two GoFundMe pages have been set up to help the family and their neighbor. We have the links on our website, fox2detroit.com. And if you want to stay updated on stories like that house fire or the crumbly sentencing tomorrow, register for our newsletter. It is the news you need to know every day. You can scan the QR code. It's right there on the screen. You'll get daily updates and breaking news 24-7.